Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Some more updates for you tonight. Hollywood tycoon Tyler Perry personally sent his massive $150 million private jet to whisk Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to Los Angeles in a top secret, early morning enterprise. The hush, hush operation allowed the secrecy, obsessed royals to leave their temporary home on Canada's Vancouver Island and to avoid any wait at customs once they arrived in California. It was a well-planned operation that appears to have worked perfectly, one insider said. But the question has remained, until now. How did they get from Canada to Southern California without being spotted? We has learned Perry's $150 million jet left its base outside Atlanta at 1.35 a.m. on Saturday, March 14th on its way to pick up Harry, Meghan, and one year old baby Archie. It is not known whether the Medea star was himself on the Embraer E-190, a stretch version of a plane mainly flown by JetBlue Airlines in the United States. The plane landed at a corporate airport in Portland, Oregon, five hours later at 3.39 a.m. West Coast time, staying for a little over an hour before flying on to Victoria International Airport, just minutes from the waterfront home in North Saanich where they had been living since fleeing England. The plane then took off from Victoria with the former royals on board at 7.35 a.m. for the quick hop back to Portland's Hillsboro Airport. Then it was on to Hollywood Burbank Airport, previously named Bob Hope, where they landed at 10.01 a.m. They could speed through that celebrity-filled airport having already gone through customs and immigration in Portland. The details of the flight are hidden on the website Open Sky which gives all times in Coordinated Universal Time UTC, which is 4 hours ahead of Eastern Daylight Time and 7 hours ahead of Pacific Daylight Time. Perry bought the Embraer in 2017 and houses it at McCollum Field, a municipally owned airport in Cobb County just outside Atlanta. The Hollywood star was given a $1.8 million tax break to keep it there under a top secret plan known as Project Meatloaf. Rather than being registered directly to Perry, it is owned by a holding company known as ETPC Aviation. The plane, with a top speed of 541 miles per hour, is large enough to carry up to 124 people in coach class. It's a beast, said one aircraft insider. Why anybody would want a private plane of this size is beyond me. The move from Canada, part of the Commonwealth which is headed by Harry's grandmother Queen Elizabeth, to the United States came a couple of weeks before the couple officially transitioned out of their royal roles, and just a week before Canada started to restrict border crossings due to the coronavirus pandemic. Another analysis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been living in an ultra-luxury Beverly Hills hideout that belongs to Hollywood tycoon Tyler Perry. The couple have never been seen in public with Perry Best known for his cross-dressing portrayal of Feisty Medea in his series of hit films, but are believed to have met him through their mutual close friend Oprah Winfrey. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their one-year-old son Archie have called the $18 million mansion home since moving to Los Angeles at the end of March. They had been staying at a waterfront home in Vancouver Island since announcing they were stepping down from their royal duties in January, but made a beeline for California after Canada announced it would be restricting its borders due to COVID-19. The couple have been spotted only a handful of times since their move to Los Angeles. Meghan and Harry handed out meals in Los Angeles during COVID-19 crisis. 50-year-old Perry's 8-bedroom, 12-bathroom Tuscan-style villa sits on 22 acres on the top of a hill in the ultra-exclusive Beverly Ridge Estates guard-gated community, offering sweeping views of the city from the backyard. It is not known whether Harry and Meghan are renting Tyler's property or staying there as guests, but there is no record of the mansion having been sold. Both the Sussexes and Perry, who is worth $600 million, consider the legendary talk show host and businesswoman their Hollywood mentor. Oprah is even godmother to Perry's five-year-old son Armin, and was seen at the house Meghan and Harry are now staying at for the little boy's christening party back in 2015. The Duke and Duchess are currently working on a documentary series with Oprah, while Perry has partnered with Oprah's own television channel in the past. 
Meghan and Harry have been extremely cautious to keep their base in Los Angeles under wraps. Their team helped them choose the location for their transition to Los Angeles wisely. Beverly Ridge has its own guarded gate and Tyler's property has a gate of its own which is watched by their security team. Beverly Ridge is an excellent place to keep out of view. The neighbors are mostly old money and mega rich business types rather than show business gossips. It goes without saying that the location is stunning, just one of the most beautiful and desirable areas in Los Angeles. Beverly Ridge Estates is close to the Van Nuys Private Airport and some of the most desirable private schools on the west side of Los Angeles. Socialite Paris Hilton lived there for just under a year in 2004 after her former fiancé Paris Latsis bought her an 11,206-square-foot mansion in December 2004. Other local celebrities who have owned homes in the community include ex-spouses David and Carlton Jebbia, who starred on reality show Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and had a burlesque room in their $22 million gothic-style mansion. It is also home to socialite Alexis Carson, the widow of popular talk show host Johnny Carson. Top Hollywood real estate agent Rochelle Mays of the Normand & Associates Agency told, Beverly Ridge Estates has just 14 homes, but is very prestigious and chic. There are not many rentals on offer there because of the limited number of properties. Leases start at around $20,000 and can go up to $40,000 a month. It costs around $16 million to buy a property there. Harry expressed sympathy for Meghan earlier this year, referencing comments that she made to IDV News presenter Tom Bradby for a documentary shot in Africa. Harry said, Remember when Meghan Markle did that interview? She said thanks for asking if I'm okay. Because no one ever asks me that. I felt her when she said that. People toss it out. How are you doing? But not many people really mean it. Or pay attention to the answer. Perry Custom built the 24,000 square foot Beverly Hills mansion from scratch after buying the 22 acres of land it is on for $4.3 million in 2004. He was even said to have showed the property to rapper Kanye West as a potential buyer while it was still being developed. Perry made his fortune as a movie and TV actor, writer, director, and producer and is thought to be worth $600 million. He was named the richest man in entertainment by Forbes magazine in 2011, and he earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in October last year. The New Orleans, born actor mainly lives and works in Atlanta, where he runs film production company Tyler Perry Studios. Two weeks ago, he tipped staff at an Atlanta restaurant $21,000 while getting takeout. Harry is also known for flipping properties and in 2018 sold a mansion in Mulholland Estates private community in Beverly Hills to happy singer Farrell Williams for $15.6 million. Harry's home is where Meghan and Harry celebrated Archie's first birthday on Wednesday, having a smash cake and Zoom chats with friends and family, a source told People magazine. The couple shared a video of Meghan reading to Archie in a sweet video filmed last week and shared to the Save the Children Instagram account. Oprah is believed to have gifted little Archie a huge collection of children's books, including the duck. Rabbit. Story the Duchess read in the video. Meanwhile, it's been revealed a biography about the couple is set to be released worldwide online on August 11, with the hard copy on sale from August 20th. The book has the full title Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, and will be published by Day Street Books. The publisher reportedly had briefings with people close to the couple and publication is likely to be serialized ahead of a full release. In other news, Prince Harry helps mark 75th anniversary of Thomas the Tank Engine. Britain's Prince Harry is helping Thomas and friends celebrate their 75th anniversary by introducing a special episode which features the cartoon trains as well as some members of the royal family. Thomas and Friends is celebrating 75 years. And to help those celebrations, we've created an episode called Thomas and the Royal Engine. It's about Thomas and the Fat Controller embarking on a journey to London to visit the Queen. So top of that, <laughs> your majesty. And to make it even more special, we brought in some great cast and none other than Rosamund Pike to play the role of Duchess. Oh, how rude of me. I should introduce myself. 
My name's Duchess. Duchess of Loughborough. Duchess has a very, very important job in that she transports the royal family, which is obviously a very exciting job and but comes with great responsibility and uh, you, you don't really want anything to go wrong when you have very important passengers. She's a brave little engine. She's lovely. She's charming. She can seem a little rude at times, but it's only because of her sort of anxiety. Actually, she's a very, very warm, friendly engine who's looking for friends. And we are delighted Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is introducing this very special episode. This year, Thomas and friends is celebrating 75 years of friendship and teamwork. The story starts late one afternoon on the island of Sodor. I think this is a, a very beautiful and apt episode for the 75th anniversary. It's got all the key characters uh, and some new ones and some unexpected ones. And I think it, it puts Thomas sort of front and centre, giving him a very noble and important challenge. And he emerges from it triumphant. Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel by subscribe channel. Like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.